reinvent the wheel. It's enough. It's, right. it's broken. <laughs> um, so, Darren, I, mean, I know coaches have, always have full faith in their team, but in your wildest dreams, could you imagine such a performance? I mean, it's arguably one of the best performances in the club, in the club history, isn't it? Um, yeah, I must admit, driving here today, I wouldn't have thought that uh, we would have won um, as comprehensively as that. You know, given Melbourne are just a, a really great outfit and have been for a long time, and you know, it's our first uh, first victory over them. So, um, yeah, but yeah, the the, uh, the way that uh, our players just applied themselves was uh, was super today. I mean, you've, you, they had the the best attack in the comp heading into this game. You've held them to their second lowest score in the history, and you've given them their second biggest loss in the history. I mean, it's pretty pretty amazing numbers, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, you know, we've got unbelievable faith in our, especially our defensive system. You know, it's held up. It's been building, you know, not just this season, but, you know, throughout the uh, the last few seasons. And the players have just got, gained more and more um, belief and confidence around it. And, um, you know, it's a bit different to the way that a lot of other teams play. But, um, yeah, we feel it uh, suits us and holds up well. And, um, Today just gave the players some great evidence that it can hold up in fi under finals pressure and in, in finals football. Much has been made of obviously your team's record against the big three in the AFL up against Adelaide, Brisbane. Melbourne. I think it was like two and fourteen heading into today. But how much did that sort of draw? I know at finals you don't need much more motivation, but how much did that add in terms of the, um, the desire to really break through against one of those teams on one of the biggest stages in, in the sport? I oh, look, that's that's more a narrative that uh, I reckon gets driven in the media. Yep. You know, like we actually don't talk about that internally. You know, when you become a good team, you know, those results just start taking uh, taking care of themselves. You know, for us internally, it was just you know trying to refine our our system and, and embed that. Um, you know, plan really well. You know, against the quality of opposition, and and then obviously bring the intensity that's required to win finals games. Um, for us, you know, there was no mention that, oh, you know, it'd be good to get the monkey off her back and, oh, we've got to beat one of the big three. It doesn't, doesn't happen. You know, when we become the team we want to become, um, those results would just start to take care of themselves. Best tackling performance for the season for you guys? Was it a real focus coming in to really apply that intensity around the contest? Uh, I look, uh, I'd be lying if I said it, it wasn't a focus. Um, you know, our pressure was mentioned. Um, yeah, uh, you, you just need to bring that win if you're going to be successful in finals. And uh, and if you looked at um, the last couple of losses that Melbourne have had against Adelaide and Brisbane, you know both of those teams tackled extremely well um, as well. So we just needed to make sure that we upheld our end of the bargain and that we didn't uh, allow Melbourne to get the game, you know, on their terms. They they're. You know, high-scoring team. If you let them flick the ball around, you know they can be really damaging, and it was really important for us to be able to take that away. Another really um, impressive aspect of the performance was you actually lost the inside 50 count, I think, but you held them to one goal. And I guess players like Ferguson and those kind of got, um, players. How impressed were you by their efforts? Today? Yeah, look, they um, their their efforts are, are fantastic, but they can only play to our system and, and play the, the roles that they're, uh, they're required to play if we actually get the, um, the pressure right across, you know, get the defensive pressure right across the board. And that starts with when we get the ball forward, our, our ability of our forwards to, uh, to come forward and try to lock the ball in. That's the first layer. And then our mids to, to then squeeze up behind that. And if uh, we get some messy ball going into our back line, well, that helps the backs enormously. No, no, no concussion test. She uh, split her lip. Yeah, so, um, yeah, she just um, came down and uh, got a, a pretty bad cut to her lip. So looks like she'll, uh, yeah, might require, you know, a couple of stitches in that. Fortnight off now. It's a pretty well-deserved break. Um, how do you sort of uh, attack it? And what's the next week or so look like for you guys? Yeah, it's, um, it's a good question. Um, you know, it's it'll be nice to... to have a week off, I think, but we won't be changing our schedule much at all. We'll uh, we'll stick with uh, with pretty much how we've been going about um, our schedule. Our full day on a Tuesday, um, you know, Wednesday night, and then Friday, and then whether we uh, we get the uh, get the players in on Saturday just for a little bit of a run around, we'll uh, we'll wait and see. But um, yeah, it'll be nice for them to you know mentally have a freshen up. You know, this week I think when you get to um, when you get the double chance. 
and went through that first first week or having, exper having experienced it myself, it's actually just probably good to mentally freshen up mm -hmm. um, even more so than physically. Mm -hmm. um, so they can, uh, we'll have a good week on the track um, and then get ready, uh, really have a strong week um, leading into uh, the prelim, which I understand is back here in a fortnight's time. Mm -hmm. And I guess also, I mean, rather than slipping into Brisbane's side of the draw, you've now got that home credit in the end. So Oh look, I think um, I think to go all the way, you got to beat you know uh, beat whether it's those four, whether it's now you know Geelong have obviously won today and uh, um, Sydney last night. So we'll see what uh, what those games throw up next week. But you really need to be a strong enough team that can. Um, you know, you have a game style that can hold up against any team. So whether it was going to be Adelaide, whether it was going to be Brisbane, you know, to go all the way, you're going to have to be, uh, be able to beat those teams anyway. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys. Again, yeah? Thank you.